Hey gamers, what's up? So I just did the video on the NES cartridge restoration and ironically today I got in a stack of Nintendo 64 games that needed some work so I thought I'd do a, a follow-up video to that one. Now this is very typical. These carts are really easy to clean and uh, here's one that has some, some good grime and grunge on it and then we have a couple with marker on them. Um, now all of them have these and uh, these are labels that the previous owner put on them and I hate that they put them on these because when you tear them off, you end up with that. And once this is ruined, you know, you have a choice. You're either going to... Well, that one doesn't have it, but it has the marker. You're either going to have this or this. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just take off the entire thing. And I mean, it's a lot less unsightly than that. So, um, basically the idea is the same. You'll take this sticker I'm gonna peel it off and it's gonna leave that and then I'm gonna take some of this stuff and squirt it on there and you just gotta let it soak in these labels are a lot harder to get off but once that soaks in really good it all starts to come off so I'm gonna let that sit over here for a little bit and uh, work on this marker here Put that on there and again the marker always just comes right off so with a little bit of elbow grease that's going to come off completely and it shouldn't be a problem. Same with this one. That one came off a lot easier. So we'll work on those. We'll work on this label as well. And we'll also work on this. Now on a cartridge like this, again my rubbing alcohol, this I have it in an oxy bottle but it's actually a 90% isopropyl rubbing alcohol throw it on the uh, rag here and some labels the ink will come off of some they won't so when you rub it on there you want to check your your towel here and make sure that you're not getting ink from the cartridge because once you are um, you know you gotta rethink how you're doing it and I see I got a tiny bit of ink on there so I'll give it a couple of wipes so this gets clean and then the rest I'm gonna fold the towel up and I'm gonna just rub right there on the edge until it gets nice and clean and it's a little more time consuming but as you can see it all comes right off and the alcohol is really good it dries fast it doesn't corrode anything and then as before on the inside there we're just going to spray a little alcohol on some q-tips put them in and scrub those connections pretty vigorously get all that gunk off. Look at that. And just as with the uh, NES carts, you want these connections to be shiny. You know, like they're new. So here we are uh, at a midway point and I thought I'd, uh, I've been working on some carts simultaneously. I realized I had kind of a, uh, a little setup going where I could show you what it looks like in stages. So after you apply some of the, uh, as you know, I use the goof off. As you apply some of that, and rub it in there, you let it sit for a while, you start peeling, and then you reapply a little bit more. I mean, it only takes a drip at a time. Then we got like stage three there, and then there's the last stage where you really have pretty much all of it off and just a little bit of sticky residue, and that's why I want to use the uh, alcohol to get off. But like with this one, you can see that it's, it's all pretty much coming off now. So I'll be able to, look at that, take it right off. Uh, there. So those will all be clean here in just a few minutes. And here we are all done. Some of those, like I said, I had to take the backs off of. So you can see how those came out. And I think it's just a lot better than the, uh, you know, the sticker on the back or the uh, the damaged label once it peels off. So. It came out nice, and they're ready for someone's collection. So that's it. Uh, just so you know, this is a, a method you could use on pretty much any cartridge. Some are harder to clean than others, you know. Uh, Super Nintendo and NES cartridges have a few more nooks, and Genesis cartridges are even easier because they have no 
little lines in there or anything that you have to clean in. So I won't do a video for every kind of cartridge, but this opportunity kind of fell in my lap and I thought I'd show you guys how I, uh, how I handle it. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.